Hey guys, so today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I will be discussing the topic of selling cards in this market, um, how to get the most money you can get out of cards, because I know right now it is a selling market, and that makes it very tough on sellers, um, and you know, of course, advantageous for buyers. So I definitely want to go over how you can get top dollar, um, but before we get into that, I do want to say, as you guys know, I have my Sports Card Invest membership program, and our ultra high-end membership has been absolutely killing it recently despite the fact that the market is very soft we were buying Devin Booker National Treasures RPAs just around six weeks ago for just around one-third the price as they are right now I remember seeing this patch auto for roughly $3,500 recently it sold for $10,000 um, so that was one of our major successes um, along with the many other major successes we've had with our ultra high-end membership so if you guys would like to join you can use the code April to get you 30% off at checkout for the next two days. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. And without further ado, we're going to hop right into this video. So essentially, you know, I'm firstly, I'm firstly going to be going over, you know, selling a little bit more expensive cards. Um, and then we're going to go to, you know, selling a little bit more basic cards. Um, so for example, some cards, you know, that I've had the chance to get my hands on have been upwards of $5,000, upwards of $10,000. And right now, I'm going to be very honest, it is very, very tough to find an outright cash buyer, you know, to drop twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. You will get lucky here and there, but being at the Dallas show, it was easy to tell that there were a lot, lot, lot more sellers than there were buyers. Um, but one thing that I have noticed is that if you trade into smaller cards, um, it becomes a lot easier to move those cards because they're more potential buyers. Um, so I see a lot of guys spending money, but people right now are spending money on cards, I would say under $1,000. Um, so a lot of people are more so playing to collect. Um, so a lot of people are buying cards that are, you know, under $1,000, under $500. So for example, if you have, you know, say a Luka Doncic Silver Prism Rookie in a PSA 10. Um, so this should be around five, six thousand dollars um, Okay, so they're down a little bit, say around $4,400. Um, so it could be very tough right now in today's market to get 4400 cash um, from, you know, Luka Doncic Silver Prism. But, however, what you can do is you could trade, you could essentially offer it in a trade. You're likely going to get around 5000 trade value because when people are trading up, you know, they always have to add more value. That's just kind of how it works because, of course, you know, you get into one card, it's a little bit tougher in most people's eyes to sell a lot more cards. Um, so, for example, you could trade this in for 5000 trade value and get a lot of liquid smaller cards that are a lot easier to move and a lot faster to move. Um, so, for example, a card that I would consider trading into is, you know, a John Morant Prism, or I would say a John Morant Prism Green PSA 10, even a John Morant Base PSA 10, or any card, you know, that's has collector's value and is fairly cheap. Those are the cards that are extremely easy to move right now. And if you can trade into these, you can get a lot better, a lot better value um, and overall extract more money than you would have got if you were to just sell that alone. Um, and trades plus cash is another great way to do this. A lot of times I've been sitting on cards like this, say a $4,000 card, I'll take 2000 in cash, 2000 in trade. That way I'm already half out with my cash and then I can just move those $2000 in lick of liquid cards. Um, you know, that's typically I feel the best way to do it right now in this market. Um, of course, shows are likely the easiest way to move your cards. Um, some other great places, of course, my slabs is a great place to sell. That is 1% seller fees for all slabs. Um, so as you can see there, you can just scan it post it up. Um, if it sells, you know, a lot of collectors are on my slabs, which I love about that. Um, so, you know, you can get good money if you have, you know, good cards essentially. Um, and then star stock is great to sell, um, ungraded cards. So star stock essentially, you know, you can send in your ungraded rookie cards and you can get some good money, um, for them. Sorry about that star stock. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. That's 5% seller fees, as I mentioned. Um, and you can get solid money on ungraded ungraded cards um, a lot better than eBay I'd say for ungraded cards um, so for example you know 
any one of these would likely be around, I would say, 1.5 to 2x the price of an ungraded card on eBay, just because they're in better condition if you get a Starstock A. Um, but then, of course, Facebook groups is another great place where you essentially have no seller fees. Um, if you can work out, you know, connections through there, that is a fantastic place to sell your cards um, slash trade them. Um, but I think trading personally right now is the way to go. It's a lot easier to find trades than it is to find, you know, buyers essentially right now it's a lot easier to find traders than cash buyers um and then also just getting into cards that people want um you know is very crucial right now trading into cards that people want because it's a lot easier to find collectors to buy your cards right now than it is to find investors to buy your cards right now um but i really hope this video helped you guys out thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what your you know personal methods are in terms of selling cards right now or trading cards whatever that is um, but I'm really excited to see the shows that are coming up. Um, of course, the National is the highlight. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of selling, buying going down there. Um, so, if you have a chance to get out there, I would highly recommend it. I'll certainly be there. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And other than that, I'm out. Peace.